Welcome and in this video we are going to look at Illumina and Element Biosciences and see if Element can destroy or will destroy Illumina or if Illumina with its global monopoly still kind of mono monopoly on sequencing can stand its ground and defend itself. First of warning this video is a little dense right so I have to make it fast and squeeze a lot of information here but most of you know something about the space so it's going to be fun. So number one what is Illumina? Uh, the stock and the history. Illumina is a great pioneer of next generation sequencing, high throughput sequencing. They have basically effectively still ne a near monopoly globally outside China for high throughput sequencing. On the low end, there is Iron Torrent of Thermo Fisher that competes a little bit with them, but not really on high end genomics applications. What does Illumina do? They're providing products, hardware products that allow labs to buy these products and throw their libraries, uh, their genomic libraries on these products and sequence and get data out. They sell this hardware, that's how they make money. But more importantly, they sell the consumables, the flow cells that go into these machines that you need every time you run an assay. So they also have marginal revenue streams right now, which is the chemistry that goes on the flow cells, but that's not very big and not important. There are many competitors. And they have software for bioinformatics to analyze the results. Also less important, not that big. It will become more important as we see later. The product lineup of Illumina is basically three things. They have NextSeq, they have NovaSeq, and they have NovaSeq X. And they have also some other things, but these are the sequencing products we are talking about here. The NextSeq is the small desktop sequencer, has 360 gigabytes output, is the cheapest, costs like roughly $300,000 the machine, and the flow says around 3,000 and up. The NovaSeq 6000 is the previous version of the NovaSeq. We have one of the NovaSeqs in our lab, and uh, that has up to three gigabytes, uh, three terabytes output. And then you have the NovaSeq X that's even bigger. NovaSeq 6000 costs roughly a million, and NovaSeq X costs 1.5 million. Now, this is all great. And Illumina was good in positioning itself as the best sequencing high throughput company. So nearly every lab has a, has, that does these kinds of things has an Illumina in there. Now, there is a new company called Element Biosciences. And Element is interesting. It's a former Illumina executive and, and technology team. Um, they got $400 million funding. And despite expectations, uh, they outperformed what everyone thought, and they got a very cool machine out there that is called the VT machine. And uh, Element basically becomes a very serious competitor now with Illumina, even though most people thought it's not possible because Illumina has so many advantages being in the market already. So here you see the website of our VT. It's a very cool machine. And, uh, you know, they are basically pitching that they are much cheaper than Illumina while having better quality which is an interesting combination of things. I want to shed a little bit of light into what's happening. So my perspective on stocks and companies is in the end, it's the product. Everything is about the product. Everything is about the value add for the customer. And, you know, the best analysts for companies are actually customers. If the customers say, I'm going here, not here, well, then you have a problem. And uh, I want to give you a little bit of an overview quantitatively from us as a customer of both. Um, why I think Illumina has actually a major, major problem. And here I want to share this uh, little table so we can take a look at some numbers. Um, what you see is here, you have hardware and uh, consumables are listed here. So you have the NovaSeq that costs roughly $980,000 to buy. You have an XC that costs $300,000 to buy. And you have an Aviti that costs $289,000 to buy. And what you see is, uh, here's also the maintenance contracts you have to pay for, right? So that's basically the contracts that keep these machines running, service contracts. So uh, they are kind of according to the price, 10% roughly. And you already see here, that's interesting. Obviously, Illumina is more expensive than Aviti. And some people say I shouldn't compare the NovaSeq to the Aviti because it has actually much higher throughput. But I will get to this in a second. You see the NovaSeq costs over 300% more than Aviti. The next thing is slightly more expensive, but not much. Here is the problem. The problem is the consumables, right? When you actually run these machines, you see that the biggest flow cell on the most expensive machine that is listed here out of, of Illumina gets you to a dollar per gigabytes of roughly $5.80. Now, this is the central metric. Gigabyte output in genomics tells you, you know, uh, how much data you get. And here is the dollar price for the consumables. And what you see is that the element of ET 
is actually cheaper than the biggest flow cell on the big machine of Illumina, which is an enormous problem. When you compare to the smaller system here that you can buy for $300,000, it's not even close. It's a joke, right? It's over three times more expensive ongoing to run these flow cells, which is absolutely a killer. And in my opinion, and here I deviate from many experts, I think Element could be positioned against NovaSeq, not just against NextSeq, because on NovaSeq, it would destroy the whole thing on a CapEx level. That's how I view it, because we are not NextSeq users, we are NovaSeq users. And as a NovaSeq user, why would I buy something that costs me more in consumables and much more in CapEx when I can buy something much cheaper that is better and cheaper in use? This is like an absolute game changer. And when we look at this, uh, here you see the, the impact of a small lab, right? And then it becomes clear what the problem is. Let's look at a customer example that has two of these hardwares, right? So two, two machines, normally you need two to have redundancy. And you have one lab and you have roughly, roughly 10,000 gigabytes per year in throughput. And then look at this. Uh, look at the total cost of your lab, including consumables in year one. You see that a NovaSeq based lab costs you 2.3 million to get the job done. A NextSeq lab costs you 980,000 to get the job done. An AVT lab costs you 738,000 to get the job done, but they have a lease option. And with a lease option in year one, you had $380,000 expense, including everything compared to a $2.3 million expense. And if you say, well, compared to the next six solution, the problem is here. On an ongoing level in year two, you will spend $324,000 instead of $104,000, which is a huge problem. So as you can see, this is not a small advantage, it's a huge advantage. It's an enormous advantage because this is nearly a 10X or like an, an 7X advantage over Nova Seek in year one on total uh, expense. And it's a massive advantage, also a three over 300% advantage over the next six solution. And I'm not, I don't want to bash Illumina. If we had the choice, sticking with Illumina would be much easier, but this is pretty bad. And we will go into another example in a second. Now that we have this example out of the way, um, I want to discuss a little bit some macro trends in the genomics industry that will play further into the hands of Aviti and uh, Element Biosciences. The biggest macro trend that we see in the genomics industry is what I call decentralization. So instead of having big centralized labs, we see that turnkey solutions bring now genomic laboratories into every hospital systems, especially larger hospital systems in the United States. The reason for that is that new technology, like our solutions, Quantine is one of the leaders in this space, Right? make it very easy for hospitals to now build very high-tech labs for basically no capex into their hospital systems. Now, why is this important? Because the hospital unlocks millions, if not tens of millions of dollars in additional revenue and operating margin through bringing genomics inside. And these turnkey solutions are designed so it's just a one-click process for the hospital. They don't need to deal with financing. They need to, don't need to deal with anything. They just improve care quality, massively expand genomic application and massively expand the bottom line. That is why this is such a huge mega trend that is going to play out over the next five years in genomics. Why is this so important? This is very bad news for expensive NovaSeq machines that are relying on very high throughput labs because they're the only ones who need that and can afford the CapEx. And it means now the build out, it will be a giant build out phase in the United States and beyond where everyone needs to have desktop sequencers, ideally high-performance desktop sequencers, in all these hospitals for these turnkey solutions. A side effect on these two stocks is that this will also be a heavy market expansion for clinically reimbursed genomic testing, at least, 10 to 20 times the size of the current market, because these hospital system solutions now unlock access to all the patients who actually needed genomic testing and are reimbursed, but no one could get to them because the hospitals had no incentive getting to them. Now with these solutions, the hospital makes the money, so the hospital unlocks this market. So it's a huge, huge seismic shift in genomics. And what does it all mean? This is another huge advantage for Element because it means new CapEx, new installations of hundreds of new labs that will be heavy 
uh, utilizers of sequencing. And uh, I think, you know, when you look at it um, and model this out, just the just our case, Quantine, so we expect to build out 100 labs over the next five years. And now look at our math, just as a customer, look at our math, uh, what that does. We would have to spend a stunning $231 million in CapEx and consumables on NovaSeq, $230 million. Um, we would have to spend a hundred million on NextSeq if he's bet on that platform. But if you do that, we have an ongoing cost disadvantage of 20 million per year just on the consumables versus NovaSeq. So we wouldn't do that. Um, on the ABT level, we get a massive consumable advantage. Look at this 10 million compared to 30 million per year. Uh, that's pure margin. This is pure margin for Quantine, right? We would we would get twenty million dollars more in margin per year on the AVT platform compared to NextC, and we would save, you know, a hundred sixty million dollars on capex compared to the NovaSeq platform. And if we do financing, look at this; it's even more crazy. We we would save literally two hundred million dollars in capex, or we would save, uh, we would save. 60 million on capex and we would then make 20 million dollars more in bottom line so even if we would be completely in love with Illumina, this is not feasible we can't we can't do that this is completely unacceptable uh, and that means illumina has a big problem and i just don't want to geek out too much on the financials here but we are a customer we see these numbers we're like this is just uh there is not even a choice so what does it mean for for illumina for illumina stock um, that after the Grail debacle already has a problem. Well, I think, you know, these major disruptions are not great for Illumina if they don't get ahead of it. And um, they need to do something. I think they need to either embrace more turnkey solutions, um, they have to lower consumable prices, or they have to rethink the pricing on the machines, which is very difficult because they, they have a different technology that's more expensive. Either they have to figure out better advantages for Illumina to actually compete in this new market, um, or they will be replaced by AVT. So right now I'm very bearish on Illumina stock. I don't see how they're going to pull it off. I would need to see some kind of movement there that they embrace these new realities. Um, and I'm incredibly bullish on element biosciences, even though they're private, so you can't buy the stock right now. But I think, um, and I say this completely objectively, I have no stake in either one. Um, I'm very impressed by the Element Biosciences team. They did an amazing job with us. I think they're absolutely killing it and they are clearly underrated in their potential power here to take massive amounts of market share pretty quickly. So that's my take. If you want to have any more color to this, let me know in the comments. I'm happy to uh, you know, discuss this with you. Super exciting times for genomics. I think we are at the precipice of a major seismic shift in the market and Hope to hear from you soon.